So the NEO2 just got the green signal from the FCC and is ready to make its appearance. FCC listing is the final step for any wireless-enabled product, and it usually appears just before the launch date. The DJI NEO2 was first spotted in a video alongside the rumored Avatar 3 in the spring. However, that didn't give us much of a hint about the upgrades. Now, we have more details about DJI's upcoming most compact drone with powerful upgrades over its predecessor. From a redesign to internal changes, the NEO2 will be a perfect choice for both beginners and professionals who want to enhance their drone flying skills. So, without further ado, let's find out more about the DJI NEO2 and see if it can replace the likes of Flip or Mini. Back in May, Ossetol V was the first to suggest that the NEO2 is on its way. Later on, Jasper Ellens shared a video via Drone XL, where the NEO2 was first spotted in the wild, along with the Avatar 3. While the focus was mostly on the Avatar 3, we did notice the very first prototype of the NEO2. Now, as the FCC listing unfolds, we have more information about the drone, starting with a huge battery life upgrade. Based on a leaked image shared by Igor Bogdanov, the NEO2 will have about a 10.7% increase in battery capacity over DJI's existing compact drone. The NEO2 is expected to feature a 1606 milliamperes battery capacity, offering up to 25 minutes of flight time. For such a compact drone, this should be more than enough to fly on and capture your desired shots. Now, DJI is quite schedule-packed in the upcoming days, with new action cameras and drones in the queue. The NEO2 might launch in September, after DJI is done introducing the latest Osmo 360 and more. Not just that, the FCC has also been spotted certifying the Osmo Mobile 8. While specifications remain unknown for now, the Osmo Mobile 8 appears set to launch less than a year after DJI released the Osmo Mobile 7 and Osmo Mobile 7P simultaneously. As for the price, the Neo is likely to retain a similar price range without any hike, so you can expect the same $199 for the Neo 2 as well. This is perhaps the cheapest drone from DJI, and surely is a great option to start your drone flying journey. However, there are some more changes that we would expect from the NEO2. And the first should be the propeller's redesign. The current NEO surely makes a loud noise while flying. Though what we have seen in the video doesn't indicate much change in the body design, however, moving to a similar propeller-like flip could be a game changer. The DJI NEO series is the smallest of the drones with powerful capabilities. It lets you capture stunning 4K videos with great detail, all in a very compact form factor. Even slight upgrades can make this drone a great, affordable alternative. What more upgrades would you love to see with the NEO 2? Throw all your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the latest tech news.